Hey, do you want to learn how to make this? Okay, well you're in luck because I'll show you exactly how to make it. So first things first, you're gonna need Minimator. And this is a free software for animating Minecraft. The second thing you need is CapCut. Believe it or not, I'm actually using it to edit this video right now. Once you have those two, open up Minimator, create a new project, and then voila. This might look a little bit confusing, but press the crafting table, and then you can go ahead and put like a camera somewhere in the world, just like that. As you can see, this is my camera, and it, the active camera is right there on the bottom, bottom right corner. Now, put a selected item you want, if you want like a sword for your animation, it doesn't have to be the mining animation, it could be whatever. It's just a simple animation, so I'll, I just picked mining for the sake of this video and for this tutorial right here. So first off, spawn your item, so I spawned a diamond pick. Now you're gonna wanna place that to your liking. Once you have done that, as you can see, we see the diamond pick in our active camera. Okay, so I like that position, so I just spawned in my diamond ore from the crafting table, block section, searched up diamond ore, and so then I get to work by positioning it at the right spot. Okay, now once we actually got the position of it, we can now go ahead and start animating as you can see there's a timeline below this oh yeah i thought of changing the diamond ore variant into a deep slate you can do this by spawning it like that or changing it from the properties the project properties in library anyways let's get to work so as you can see like i said like i mentioned before there's a timeline at the bottom here and uh, we're gonna actually need that so let's just do a basic one let's go to 10 frames and then doing the thing the animation and then another set of 10 frames that leads us to 20 frames and so then we're just gonna make a loop so uh, how, why not just copy and paste that into there and then copy and paste that into there so I just want a, like a mining animation to hit the diamond ore three times. Got uh, a simple mining animation, but obviously we're not quite done yet. So I want it to shake. I don't want to animate it like the breaking animation, but if you guys want to do that, it's going to be a little bit tricky. You're going to need to download the textures. But I don't want that so I just want this and it will like shake as in it's gonna break like it will shake really fast and I'll show you what you can do to make that happen and to make it more a bit like realistic okay so what we're gonna do now here is um we're gonna take the frame of it being still and we're gonna copy that and then paste that into here and obviously we don't want it to imitate what the pickaxe is doing in slow motion so we're gonna fix that and to fix that we're just gonna copy and paste a bit being still before it gets hit so once it gets hit it shakes that's what we want right and we can do that by just putting the keyframe into the right frame so uh, you can just put it in like some somewhere in the timeline just like this like I'm doing here Okay, now what I want is for it to disappear, like to shrink down and disappear. So I just put the playhead somewhere like forward and at a time and scale it down. And it should look like that. 
as you can see it shrinks down and now what you can do now is um, select all of these and then go to transition and then find somewhere easy in and out and uh, you can see that it's a little bit realistic but needs some stuff needs to be improved so uh, yeah Okay, so I want it to disappear, and I don't how to, I don't know how to delete it. So I just put zero as the scale. I don't know if others do this, but I just found that out. And um, yeah, I put zero, and you can't see it. It's nowhere to be seen after that. So then I just went with it, and I just animated the camera as well, going a little bit to the left. You don't have to do that, but I wanted to, so I did. Anyways, so I wanted to, once it disappears, like the diamond item would pop up, like how it would, like how it would be in Minecraft. So that's exactly what I did. So I added the diamond item, and I put it to the right position I want. So like, yeah, and then also at the bottom here turn these on if you're doing what i'm doing if you want it to spin in the camera like the normal like how it would look like in the camera i mean not camera how it would look like in minecraft once the item is dropped you know how it like spins and stuff so yeah you can just animate it spinning and it will just do it for you so obviously we don't want it to show it like that. So basically what I want is once the ore is destroyed, we want the diamond to pop up. That's what I want, okay? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I want it to pop up like immediately from the timeline so i just copy pasted it from the bottom to up so that it looks like it pops up instantly it, well not instantly but it pops up at the right speed i want so yeah and also i want the diamond pick axe to go down and uh, there you now have that so uh, if you're satisfied with the results, you can now render it from up here. that you're done with that you can now go ahead and turn off the sky well not turn off the sky turn the sky to green turn off fog turn off uh, clouds and turn off ground once you have turned off all those you should have like a working green screen oh so, yeah what you're gonna do with that is you can for your video and chroma key it so that way it's just like background anyways let's go to cap cut and do that i will be putting red just in case like the diamond has a little bit of green shading into it i don't know i forgot but just to be safe also go ahead and copy these settings as well 60 fps and high and then boom and if it says show watermark you can actually get a key for free by the way you can remove the watermark for free just by going into the link in the description as well and copy and pasting this into there and i've done that save it 
and uh, let's go to cap okay, now once you're in cap cut you are going to go ahead and put your animation on the top of the timeline and the background on the bottom of the timeline and then you are gonna want to cut out with chroma key and put the strength into the right amount and this is optional but i like to go in hsl and then pick the background color so in this case it was red so i turned the brightness and the saturation down because i'd rather see black than red so uh, yeah that's it for today's video i hope you guys learned that and if you have any questions comment down below and uh, please subscribe i'm almost to 300 subscribers peace out